Good morning and welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We've seen the clouds break up a bit since this morning's briefing, allowing some sunshine and blue skies to peek through. Uh, so uh, fairly nice out there with some slightly breezy winds, about 10 to 15 knots gusting up to about, or excuse me, 10 to 15 miles per hour gusting up to about 20 or 22 miles per hour. Temperature is about 57 degrees, 58 degrees at the moment. And uh, so fairly nice day ahead of us. If you take a look at the current surface map. This shows that that boundary from this morning ha has since pushed off the coast and we do have some showers in the area to our north. We're expecting for the most part those to stay clear of us as we move throughout the day. We could see a very slight chance of a sprinkle move through but for the most part keeping things dry in the area. Looking at the upper level winds from this morning's balloon sounding we do have the wind at a thousand feet out of the northwest becoming more westerly to west southwesterly as we go up through the column. Fairly strong uh, as we go up through the column with 73 knots around 12,000 feet peaking at 123 knots around 25,000 feet and the freeze 11 level is at 8,800 feet. Quick look at the radar we do see those showers have moved off to the north northwest or excuse me north northeast we do have a slight chance of seeing a few sprinkles in the area as the upper level trough moves through but still again expecting things to stay pretty dry if we look at the current satellite we do see those clouds uh, starting to break up over our area we might see a gap in that cloud cover before we see some additional clouds move in but overall we should be on a clearing trend as we move into the evening and we'll see things clear out quite a bit overnight and set up for a fairly nice day for our Saturday. If we look at the short term high resolution model we will see on here that those clouds do clear out. We do have those few uh, showers the sprinkles kind of in the area not expecting them to quite make it this far south but again can't rule it out at the time we do see things start to clear out as we get into the overnight hours tomorrow should be mostly sunny to partly cloudy and uh, on the slight we'll see the wind start to die down a bit and be slightly breezy to fairly light tomorrow as we get in tomorrow evening we'll see those clouds start to build and pick back up again as we'll have a a uh, little disturbance that moves through our area overnight tomorrow night bringing us a chance of a few showers or sprinkles in the morning hours of Sunday. If we look at the longer term model again there's that disturbance that moves through for our Sunday morning and then that moves out and we have high pressure start to build back in uh, for the beginning of the week where we'll get a couple nice days at the beginning of the week before we have uh, some more disturbed weather move into the area as we get into our late Tuesday evening into Wednesday where we'll see a good chance of some rain is what it's looking like at the moment and as we get into Thursday we could see some thunderstorms moving into the area as well and then those will move out of there and then we'll see uh, a little break in some in the active weather so if we take a look at the 24-hour weather, weather risk chart for today mainly expecting the only hazard to be the winds as we move throughout the day. We are expecting those winds to pick up a bit, uh, gusting up to 25 to 30 knots. So we have a good chance of seeing a wind advisory as we get into the afternoon hours today. Expecting highs to get into the low 60s this afternoon. And again, as we go into the overnight hours, we'll see things start to clear out. Um, and the winds should slowly start to uh, back off a bit as we get into our Saturday morning. And we'll see a low in the upper 30s. Looking at the next couple of days, Saturday should be a fairly nice day, partly cloudy, and we'll see those clouds again increase as we get into uh, the late afternoon and early evening, but otherwise slightly cool or slightly breezy and on the cool side with a high of 54. As we move into Saturday night again, we'll have that disturbance moving through, uh, increasing the cloud cover and bringing us a chance of some light rain showers or sprinkles overnight on the breezy side and fairly mild with that cloud cover in the area. As we get into Sunday we'll see the winds pick up quite a bit becoming windy as we go throughout the day on Sunday 
slight chance of a ring, lingering shower early on our Sunday, but otherwise starting off mostly cloudy, and then those clouds will gradually start to clear as you get into the afternoon and evening hours with a high of 62. Looking at the extended forecast, Monday is looking to be a very seasonable day on partly cloudy, high around 57, and then we start to move into uh, progress a little more disturbed weather as we get into the middle and end of the week. Our Tuesday, we'll see those clouds start to build in. We'll see some slightly breezy conditions and a light, slight chance of a rain shower very late on Tuesday ahead of that next system. Highs in the 60s. As we get into Wednesday again, we'll see that disturbance start to move into our area. We'll see some fairly warm temps, uh, probably see some low 70s. Upper, upper 60s, low 70s, uh, and then we'll see some of those rain chances uh, start to build in on Wednesday. Right now looking about 50% chance. And then we could see another shot of showers and thunderstorms even on Thursday, uh, holding it at, at about a 30% chance at the moment. Otherwise, lows in the 50s for both of those mornings. So well above average for this time of year. Well, that will wrap up our 10 a.m daily weather briefing. We'll be back again Monday at 8.15 and 10 a.m. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your day.